The other week, I went camping for the first time in years. I had forgotten what it felt like to camp. Part of me was ready to use my phone if I got bored, figuring I might need it to fill the gaps. I had grown so used to constant notifications, the hum of city life, and always having something to distract myself with. But when I got to the campsite, an odd thing happened. I couldn't use my phone and I didn't mind. For the first time in what felt like forever, there was nothing but the sounds of nature surrounding me. Birds chirping in the distance, the soft hush of a nearby river, and the occasional laughter of my loved ones. No texts, no emails, no music playing in my ears. Just me, the open space, and my thoughts. And for once, that wasn't uncomfortable. I wasn't filled with the usual anxious chatter in my mind, wondering about the next thing on my to-do list or the never-ending scroll of social media updates. The past, which so often comes with a flood of anxiety, felt distant and the future always looming with its uncertainties and overwhelming possibilities didn't feel so daunting. I was just there, present, but it didn't feel like I had to force myself to be. It was a natural kind of presence, the kind you can only find when you strip away all the noise and just exist for a little while. The break from city noise and constant screen time was exactly what I didn't know I needed. It reminded me of a quote from Raphael. Time is a vindictive bandit to steal the beauty of our former selves. That weekend, I wasn't worried about time slipping away or the pressure to constantly move forward. I let myself be free from that. For once, time didn't feel like a thief but a companion to my stillness. It was simple, but it was peaceful. I'm so used to filling every moment with something, a task, a distraction, a goal. But that week, it was just me, my loved ones, the stillness and the beauty of being where I was. And that was enough.